You know that old saying, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. What a lie. As the oldest dog in this room, I am excited to introduce you to some seniors who have a lot of new tricks up their sleeves. Florida Studio Theater has a senior improv group, and they're so good, they have performed all over the state, and they've been invited to perform at the prestigious Boston Improv Festival this weekend. They're called the Early Bird Special. That's what seniors are famous for. <laughs> and we welcome the performers, Tony Stanel, Nancy Rand, and early bird special coach and main stage performer, Emily Levin. Okay, guys, <laughs> so what careers did you have before this? Let's start with you, Tony. I was an ad exec in New York, and now I'm a headhunter. So you're still working. I'm still working, Oh, yes. well, if you're looking for an <laughs> older senior, here yeah. I am. All right, and you have a pretty head. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, what were you? I am a recovering attorney. <laughs> oh, you're an attorney. <laughs> I'm retired. I used to be a family law attorney. I did a lot of divorces. I was the only married woman left in America. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't get to be funny a whole lot, I guess. No, no. not really. <laughs> and so what were you before? I've been in uh, retail sales and managing, I'm buying, and I love clothes, and it's something that um, has been a lot of fun, very interesting to do improv when you're selling, <laughs> and um, I'm still doing that. I still manage uh, Dreamweaver and St. Armand Circle. So you're still working, but this takes a lot of time. You guys work hard, right? It does. It's a big yeah. commitment that they've had to make to this, and um, they've come through wonderfully. We've formed as a group. We're two years into it now, and it's really gelled and we have a good time together. We work hard but we have a good time together. And I hear you do very well. What kind of improv do you do? Well they do an improvised 1980s style sitcom. They get suggestions from the audience and they use those for commercials and then they get the name of a business, a type of a business and they do a whole Brady Bunch style improv with <laughs> all that. That that's sounds That's usually like for the more um, experienced improvised audiences, you know, improv people, uh -huh. uh, but sometimes we're in senior living centers. <laughs> oh, so you do something different there? Yes, we do a lot of uh, short form games like Whose Line Anyway type of games. Uh, that's Maybe. a little more accessible for someone, yeah. right, yeah. who's just right. getting their feet wet watching fire. improv. Right. Yeah. Very oh. fast paced and the seniors really enjoy it. We do what? something like the dating game, which they love <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, then they bring someone up and they're going to have a date with one of the improvisers. It's cool. I think some of the ladies were disappointed they didn't actually get the date. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been all over the state. Right. We're going to get the t-shirt that says Venice, Sarasota, Bradenton, <laughs> Orlando, Orlando, St. Pete. Pete. And awesome. so forth, because I understand you've been to more than 50 places, so that's going to have to be a big t-shirt. Sure. What does it mean to your lives to do this? I just think it's something that um, I've always wanted to do something like this, but when you're younger and raising children and then you have careers, you don't have time to do all this just for yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's been uh, very rewarding, love it. I guess I've spent my life improvising, but never with people that I enjoy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mary. You guys are sort of in a sea of younger people, right. younger performers. Mm -hmm. How do they accept you? I think that they find us fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that uh, Will launched us on this, this whole uh, uh, team effort. And uh, one time we performed at a, a coffee house in, in, in St. Pete to a group of millennials, people like a third our ages. And uh, we, we killed. We thought these guys are going to see us like dinosaurs. But they didn't. They loved it. I reported back to Will, this is a great show. And he said, well, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, <laughs> you guys are sort of a novelty act in the <laughs> improv world. Yeah. And, and I, I, I will say, like, I, I mean, definitely back then, now they're, they're 45, 50 shows in, and I, they've now become an accepted part of the community. And I think really showcasing that performing is not just for the young ones. Yes. It's for, it's for uh, folks of all ages. And uh, I know that they are a big part of our evening classes, but I did want to add that we are going to start to offer morning and afternoon classes at FST 
for our senior community as well, so that there will be more, uh, there'll, there will be more options. Oh yes, well you make us all want to do this, although I know it's very, very hard. Good luck in Boston. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah we'll yes. follow up with you and we see how you're going. We will be following, and luck. you can follow them. You can go to vintageimprovfestival.com and see how they are doing, and you can follow them right here in Sarasota on Facebook at Early Bird Special Improv Group.